Yeah. Huh? And this week. Oh. Wait. Oh. 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 I didn't. Uh, I didn't know if you're gonna read. Okay. <laughs> our Christmas movies with a killer Santa flick called All Through the House. Yeah. 2015. Not rated. Not rated. 95, minute, 95 minutes long and from Gravitas Ventures, which is a, you know, they put out some good stuff. I was about to say great, but that's not always the no, case. No, not so. great. Directed by Tom Nunes, I think is how you say it. And starred Ashley Marie Nunes, Jessica Cameron, and uh, another. And some people. Jennifer Wenger. 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 Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the house. And we're going all through the house, and something is chasing us, and we are trying to protect our diddly piddlies. Because we don't want them to fall off and get cut down like a shrub. Anyway, Adam, what's this movie about? Diddly piddly, diddly piddly. This movie's about diddly piddlies. Ho, ho, ho. All Through the pretty, House pretty is a pretty standard Christmas slasher horror yep. guy dressed up as Santa. That's it. I'm that, not fucking doing the work. That pretty much sums it up. So we Santa sat on Santa's lap, and he let us reach into his sack. And he liked that. I'm sure he did. <laughs> what else did he like about this movie? <laughs> what else did he like about this movie? Uh, fuck yeah, why not? I like that it's a simple, straight cut slasher flick. Okay. I, I think it works. Um, and I think they do a good enough job with it. And speaking of that, I actually like the killer Santa in this. I think he's one of the creepier looking ones. The, the black mask I, I like is cool. The, I like the costume and the mask in this. It, it was pretty cool. And I like that you can see his eyes and they're like boggly a lot. Ooh, yeah. I, I think it works. You know, it makes it kind of creepy. I'll agree that I like it. The, the gore was decent. It was good enough oh, for, yeah. for what it was. Yeah. I think the gore is great. I love, and it's practical and they look great. And they, most, they were pretty good, yeah. They're on screen. I mean, a lot of garden shear yeah. kills or whatever, hedge trimmers. Same thing, right? Is Basically it, the same yeah. thing. Yeah, that's fine. I think it's great. And that's a unique tool. Uh, I mean, you get them coming through the face and out the top of the head. You get them in boobs. You get wieners cut off. And There were more than one wiener. Yeah. Cut off. Wieners, plural. Great kills. Great you kills. You know, I did like, there were a couple of, I won't call them major twists, right? but there were a couple of minor twists that I really enjoyed. Like the the one girl who, um, she's getting ready for bed and she's talking to her significant other off right. screen and, you know, hey, are you you know feeling kind of frisky? And, uh, and then she gets killed. Right. And then you find out the significant other was her girlfriend slash wife. They never really clarified. They didn't clarify, it. yeah. Um, I thought that was a cool little twist. Like, they didn't really draw attention to it. Or, right. they, they, you know, at no point were they like, lesbians! You know, it was yeah. just a little... They felt just like normal human beings instead of them making a big deal out of it. And I um, thought that was pretty cool. There were a couple <clears throat> of little times like that where it was like, these all just feel like humans not like characters in a horror movie. Yeah. And I appreciate that. I love the Christmas vibe. The Christmas vibe is twofold in this. Yeah. I mean, it, it's lights everywhere. I mean, the, the one lady's house is just Santa's, Santa's. everywhere. Nothing and, but Santa's. Which is kind of weird with the mannequins and stuff. But. Yeah, very weird. I like the mannequins. Right. It was creepy. It was, it was. was off-putting. Yes, it was. And there's just a lot of atmosphere and Christmas tone to it, which, yeah. which is great. I mean, what do you want more? You can't, I mean, that's what you want when yeah. you watch a Christmas movie. Absolutely. There were a lot of Christmas boobs in this movie. Yeah. And Adam <laughs> likes boobs. Yes, indeed. So I appreciated that. Sure. I, I applaud you for showing as much nudity as you did. Yeah. Thank you. So... Santa, while we were sitting on his lap, started wiggling around. We definitely did not like that. Some of the acting is suspect. It's it's not great. It's some. I mean, a lot. Yeah, well, yeah, a lot. But I mean, it, it's definitely not the worst I've seen. But the main mother. Yeah, she was, she was way over the top. Over the top. <laughs> kind of gets a little goofy. This was unnecessary. I have already <laughs> seen Sleepaway Camp. I don't need Sleepaway Camp Christmas Edition. That's what this was. I have seen a number of horror movies where the killer is a cross-dresser or a transvestite. In the 80s, when that became more of a thing that we saw in horror movies, I don't want to say it was forgivable, right. but it was at least understandable. It wasn't something you had a lot of experience with. So I understand, like Sleepaway Camp, one of my favorite series. I can at least understand the whole, you know, 
she was forced to be a cross-dresser and it right. drove her insane. By the time this came out, that is neither understandable or forgivable. There's no need for that. I said this specifically to you while I was watching this. Yeah. Santa is not scary. You cannot make Santa scary. I have yet to see a single Christmas horror movie where Santa was even intimidating. I enjoy taking those innocent memories from childhood and twisting them into something Absolutely. dark yeah. as an adult. Whether it's clowns or toys or stuff like that, animatronics. I love that. Because first it takes me back to being a child, and then it pulls me back into adulthood. I love that. But Santa, I've never found a scary one. Quit making Santa horror movies. No, because no, they're don't, just don't. boring. I totally <laughs> disagree with that. I love them. That's fine. Um, the pacing at times drags on a little bit. Uh, not horribly so. Can I touch on that? I was waiting for just you to touch I, I feel like you're going to do more than just touch it. I thought like, I inappropriately I touch it. <laughs> the pacing was boring. That is all. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up like a Christmas gift to give to somebody. Okay. Watching as a present of what we think. Sure. I think this is a solid in... A solid? A solid? A solid Monsters, Inc., baby! <laughs> now, I think this is a solid indie slasher flick. It's not great by any stretch. It's what you would expect it to be for the most part. I mean, you're watching a Killer Santa movie, most of them go the same kind of way. But you should know that going into it, and I do. I watch it every year. I have fun with it. It's kind of a dark, atmospheric Christmas thing. Cool Santa, great kills, great practical effects, and uh, I don't know. It's just fun to me. So I give this one 7.5 out of 8. Holy shit. Well, I thought this was a... Run of the mill. Oh yeah, it is. There's Christmas, no denying that. Christmas slasher movie. There's nothing that I saw in here that I haven't seen done better. If they had taken something that had been done before and made it better than it's been done, I'm all for that. I love seeing that. But this was, oh, okay, well you took this from this movie and this from this movie. But those movies did it better. It's like you took what they did and didn't even do it as good as them. You just did it worse. <laughs> It didn't do it for me. I, I think everyone's pretty much realized that by this <laughs> point. I'll never watch it again. I really have no interest. It's like Silent Night, Deadly Night with Sleepaway Camp. I'm giving it a two and a half out of eight. Whoa! That is wild. Yeah. I just, it didn't do it for me. I, I like the boobs. I'll give it that. Thanks for the boobs. Two and a half. I just, I all right. Well, let us know in the comments below what you thought of All Through the House. Yeah, if you come on. Seen it. Tell us. Tell us which one of us is wrong. Like and subscribe. Give us a follow. Tell your friends or I will dress up as a killer Santa in a moo moo and come after you. And bore the death out of you. Head over to Facebook. Yes, please. Head over to Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Instagram at Stupid Movies at Dr. Skeff Turner at The Horror Punk. Facebook, uh, nope. Outlook.com slash Stupid. <sighs> Email is Stupid Movies at Outlook.com. Take a crap in a box. Send a picture of it to Rob. Send the box to Rob. He's starting a collection. Ho, 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 mofo. Tells from the Crypt, the Christmas one, with Larry Drake as the Santa. That was good. I'm not saying it was a bad one. No, but he's creepy as hell. That's because he's Larry Drake. Well, I Larry know. Larry Drake in anything is creepy. Right. It has nothing to do but... with him being Santa. Oh, but he plays a creepy Santa. Eh. Eh. Also, not a movie. A <laughs> okay, fair show. enough, fair enough.